Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time for us to take a look at another champion build video today. We are going to be taking a look at Ramus in the jungle. Um, that's where I like to play him, because he is a very strong ganker, and uh, that's just kind of his prime location because of his kit, and just all of the stuff that he can do in the game. So we're going to go ahead and cover a lot of his abilities, and his uh, items, and all of that. So starting off at level 1, we're going to start with that Hunter's Machete in the jungle. It's pretty much what you got to take nowadays when you're jungling anybody in Season 3. And I'm uh, going to be starting with those pots as well. At level 1, though, when I am in the jungle, I will be taking my Defensive Ball Curl, which is going to be his W ability. And what that is going to do for you is, for 6 seconds, you get increased armor and magic resist. And uh, you also return damage to the uh, target that is currently attacking you. So kind of like a mini built-in Thornmail type of thing going on, you believe. I believe it is. You return 10% of a certain amount. So um, what that does for you in the jungle is uh, kind of helps beef you up a little bit to keep you a little bit stronger and uh, protect you. And you're going to be dealing some extra damage that way as well. Um, his second ability that you can think about taking, um, just depending on if you're going to be ganking right away, which we're ganking here, as you can see, I'm going to roll out here using my Q ability, which is his uh, Power Ball. And that's going to speed me up and take me to the target. And that's going to then knock them back when I collide with them. Make sure you don't hit minions or anything, because that will knock you out of your uh, Power Ball. But what you can do is you basically then ram into them, hit them with it, which knocks them back a little bit, and will then slow them for a short period of time. So that's what you want to lead in when you are ganking. It's also awesome for just getting across the map if you need to, um, but it is great for ganking and just a great ability to use to initiate fights and all types of things like that. Um, but at level 2 when you are in the jungle, if you haven't ganked at level 2, if you're not going to be ganking at 2, you can take your E ability, which is your taunt. And um, what that is going to do is it taunts enemies or monsters, whatever you need to taunt. It's going to taunt them and reduce their armor, so that's going to be very helpful for you because... Uh, reducing armor is just great. So basically, with your defensive ball curl and your and your taunt, you can basically taunt them with your ball curl up so you're protecting yourself with the damage that you're basically asking to get and then you're going to be returning damage to them. So uh, his kit works out very well to kind of use him as the sacrifice. You kind of are to go in there, be the tank, take as much damage as you can because that's what Ramus is good at and that's kind of your job um, when you're playing Ramus. I build him full tank because he's best that way. Here I'm going to come in and initiate using my power ball. They're going to start the fight that way with her alt. I'm going to go for the Volley Bear again. Typically this isn't the target I'd normally go for but he's easy to grab and it's going to be an easy kill for us to pick up. We'll let Misfortune run away that way but uh, picking up kills and assists is going to be very helpful. This game I'm going to be picking up lots of assists and just kind of supporting the team best I can to be our tank and just to be very very annoying. So um, that last time I was back at base, though, I was picking up more of my first items. I did get my boots, and I did pick up that spirit stone. Is that not right? Whatever that thing's called nowadays. Um, so we're picking that up, and what I'm going to do with that, and now I just picked up another giant's belt. I'm going to go ahead and take those two items, take those and put those together, and build a spirit of the ancient golem. It's going to be my first main uh, uh, item. It's going to give me armor, it's going to give me tenacity, and it's going to give me even more health, which is going to be very helpful here. I'm just kind of holding mid real quick. Um, just a little bit, and uh, yeah, we got that going on. I'm going to head down bot again because Twisted Fate is down here. I'm outside the reward range right now. I'm going to come up this way, though. I'm going to be able to come in this way and initiate. I'm going to be using that power ball again, get my speed up, and then be able to come in here nice and quick, try to get to their team who four of them down here, four of us down here, get into a little fight, activate my ultimate, and just kind of taunt who I need to taunt. Try to tank the damage that I can tank and just help assist the team as we murder all of them right now. So, gonna be picking up some assists there. We actually do ace them because Renekton top lane gets a kill on the Singe. So, nice little early ace against the enemy team, and that's gonna be very, very helpful for us to kind of get that little push to help us get ahead. Um, what I was going over though was his abilities, and we're gonna continue to go over those. Um, next, I'll go over his ultimate, which is his Tremors. It is that AoE damage for 8 seconds. Um, you're going to be dealing a lot of magic damage that way. I know it does scale really well with AP, so if you kind of want to do Glass Cannon Ramus, you can, but it's not as worth it in my opinion. He works better as just a full-on tank, and uh, he just he just he still does lots of damage when he's a tank because of his passive. Now what his passive is, is 25% of his armor is actually going to be turned into damage. Um, so you can actually do a lot of damage by building lots of armor. Now you still have to remember you need to pick up magic resist. Some people try to just get full-out armor and skip magic resist, but you'll just get torn up that way. So don't do that. Do not just build armor and forget magic resist. We're going to actually start building some magic resist right now. As you can see, I've picked a little bit up. 
Uh, they do have a lot of heavy AP on their team. They do have that Singed up top, and they do have a AP Twisted Fate in middle, who's going to do a really, really good job this game. Um, also, Volibear does do a little bit of magic damage, um, so as much as he is their support for the enemy team, that's still going to hurt. There, I'm just standing that all, but you can see that handful of armor early. Um, I do have 201 right now when I do have that activated to give me that bonus. Um, it's going to go down right now, though, obviously to 116 or so, but... Um, with your defensive ball crug, you do gain a lot of uh, armor and magic resist, so you become very tanky. Uh, you saw me stand into her ultimate, and it, I mean, it hurt a little bit, but not as much as it normally would. It's a very good thing to level up. I will usually be leveling up his defensive ball curl and his taunt as my first two main things. The more you level up your taunt, the longer the duration of the taunt will last. And that is kind of the main thing with that. The longer you can taunt them, the more they're just going to be uh, taking damage from everyone else around on your team. So... Uh, it's good to keep them taunted and keep them kind of out of the fight that way so they're only standard attacking you. And then next I do level up that defensive ball curl because that's going to be important because it's your defensive ball curl. It's what makes you nice and tanky. Unfortunately, I do hit a minion there. going to try to keep chasing here though and try to get closer. I am trying to taunt her, but nonetheless that volley kind of steps up and slows us down with his roar. Um, we do have Vi behind us now. I am tanking this tower. But I do have that uh, increased armor right now. I do have my ultimate going as well to get some of that damage going. I'm going to back up out of here. We did pick up a kill, though, on the Volley Bear. Or I did, I guess. I picked up the kill on Volley Bear, and I'm going to head out. I'm going to speed up the footage a little bit a few times this game because this is actually an extremely long game. It goes into late game situation. So we're going to actually get a full build in here completely. There I get flipped twice, which kind of looks hilarious, nonetheless. I'm going to taunt that Volley Bear from really doing anything else. Uh, he's not really the damage dealer, and he's really not the person to be focused, but... Um, he's becoming an easy kill for us. Our Katarina picks up a kill there, and uh, so does our Miss Fortune. So we're going to be able to pick up a nice few kills there and take that middle turret, which is going to be very important. It took us a little bit of time to get that down, but that'll help us start pushing mid lane a bit more. And uh, there we all kind of group up while Twisted Fate alts in so nobody can get stranded out. Um, but as we can see, as um, I did speed up that footage there a little bit and stepped ahead, I actually am going to die there. He was stealing our blue buff, and I got ignited. And he killed me, so I died. But nonetheless, um, that last time I was back when I spilled the footage up, I did finish off my boots to Ninja, Ninja Tabby. Going to be getting that increased armor there, which is going to turn into more damage for me. And it's going to obviously help me uh, with some of the damage coming in from uh, their carry and from Vi, who's going to be building extremely AD heavy this game. She's going to start hurting late game, but we're going to turn that around on her with some items. And then I did finish off that Spirit Visage, which is going to help my healing because, as we do know, Spirit of the Ancient Golem does have some healing properties to it. So it's going to actually increase the healing on that a little bit, along with my base healing because the percentages will go up. It's also going to give me some cooldown reduction and that magic resist and a little bit of health. So it's uh, probably one of the better AP items now. I'm going to taunt that Bully Bear because, uh, just because he was close, mostly. Now he's kind of getting hung out to dry for his team. Um, one thing I do try to do... Uh, that Singe is kind of scared because he lost some of his life, but I can kind of keep going towards their carry to make her keep backing up. So um, I kind of play the annoying nuisance role to the enemy team when I am uh, trying to initiate. I try to just make their uh, carries and uh, of all kind, their AP carry and their AD carry, just kind of run away from the fight, which kind of usually strands some of their brawlers and usually gets them killed. So um, I try to use myself to force them out of fights. So there I did taunt the Vi and pick up an assist. So it's a good way to keep the damage off of your teammates is to taunt them. Going to be moving back into a fight, though, again. Try to get over to this Twisted Fate. Not going to happen. Going to just go for the Volley Bear. Taunt him towards me. Be able to pick up the kill with my Tremors going on because that does deal some decent damage. And Tremors is on a very short cooldown, especially once you pick up a Spirit Visage. You're able to kind of get that off all the time. I mean, it's like on a 50-second or 48-second cooldown, so um, pretty easy stuff. We did speed up the footage one more time there because, once again, or just jump some footage because this is a very long game. There are a lot of team fights. I'm kind of standing in all of them, sucking down poison from Singed and taunting who I can, tremoring all over, killed Vi there that time, um, taunting Volley Bear again, and uh, we're just working our magic here to see what we can do. Taking damage, but nonetheless, that's what we're doing. We are tanking, and we are trying to do that for our team. Um, this game, I am going to be able to start building one of the other items that I do like to build because, as I said, I like to try to tank for the team and kind of support for the team at the same time. So I actually did just finish a Runic Bulwark, which is going to give me a lot of magic resist, and that's a good second magic resist item in Season 3. As much as it's completely sad that Force of Nature is gone, the uh, Runic Bulwark is a good addition to give you a handful of magic resist. So got about 190 armor and 193 magic resist right now, so it's probably the best way to pick up the magic resist. 
Unfortunately, only one of you really should build this item on your team. I am going to die there. But unfortunately, only one of you should really build that item because it does not stack for your team. So uh, I built it. Our Tarek was going to, but he started building it after I already had it. So um, that's not really helpful to have. So I told him to sell it and build something else because I wanted to build it. But at this point in the game, I'm going to start addressing more things. Also, with the Runic Bulwark, that's going to give you more health as well. So it's just a really good overall item to help your team and help you out a lot. Right now, I do have a lot of life, so we're able to do that. Here, I actually am going to chase this Singed. I'm uh, not really afraid of his damage. He does have plenty of it, but uh, it's not going to hurt me too bad because we do have all of my defensive stuff, and we do have that taunt. They're going to be able to kill him with Tremors and Taunt and uh, all of my kit. Obviously, Katarina did help there quite well, but... Nonetheless, it's not going to hurt me as much as you'd think because you just get so tanky with uh, Ramus, and since your armor's turned into some damage, it's very helpful. You can uh, you can build more tank, more tank, more tank, and still deal the damage that uh, a lot of tanks don't naturally do as much. So later the game goes, Ramus actually still maintains kind of his uh, damage, and he continues to just kind of do a really good job of still being able to contribute to the fight when it comes to maximum damage uh, output. Um, I did build some more armor as I was talking about that last time I was back. That last fight, Vi is starting to catch back up. She had a little bit of a slow start, but uh, I'm going to jump in here and try to taunt some people. Pick up a kill on Misfortune, actually, as I get in there and try to eliminate the carry. Here I'm trying to make my way back over to this Twisted Fate. He's actually going to ult and just barely get out in time. But uh, we're going to then move back up here as they are chasing our AD carry, who we did leave all alone, unfortunately. My fault. But um, we're going to get up here. I'm going to taunt the Singe so he cannot try to get away. We're going to be able to kill him. And uh, this bully is basically left for dead at this point. I'm going to be able to catch him. He did slow me there, but now we're going to see the speed come back in. Going to be able to get him in this bush, taunt him back to me, get the team over here. Renekton's finally catch, uh, doing a good job catching back up this game, and we're going to be able to finish him off. Um, nice and easy. He is getting pretty tanky though, but not too bad. So, like I was saying in that last fight before that when I did die, I think I'm done dying for this game though for the most part, but uh, that Vi is starting to go full attack damage. She's got an IE, she's picking up some more attack speed. I think she's really starting to hurt us quite a bit. So I'm going to start getting the other item that you could get earlier if it was a more of a problem. Like I said, this team does have a lot of magic resist, so I was able to pick up that Bulwark and Spirit Fissage fairly quick. But uh, typically as your fourth item, if you were uh, d dealing with more attack damage, you'd want to pick up that thorn mail I just got. So um, just picked up that thorn mail, and that's going to send even more damage back. As we can see right now, I have about 300 armor. So um, very, very tanky. That's going to also give me more of that damage based off of my passive. And uh, we're going to be able to get into fights. And uh, once we taunt somebody with some attack damage into us, um, yeah, it's going to hurt because you're taunting them to you, but you're going to force them to deal damage to themselves especially with uh, the abilities, um, with defensive curls, just ability to send back damage, and with your Thornmail sending back uh, damage to them as magic damage. So uh, very, very helpful to just get in there and grab the person who's dealing the most damage on their team. Um, like I said, this game I grab Bully a lot because he seems to be the one getting left out, and it's just the easy kill to pick up for us. So um, Bully's getting picked up, and Renekton's making a good charge in there. So is Katarina get to their carry. And uh, I think they're going to get away, unfortunately. Oh, no, she's going to die. That's good. And then uh, Vi comes out. I'm just going to maybe do something there. I don't know. A little bit of fighting going on. A lot of fighting in this game. We got 28 assists so far, and this game's not done yet. And I think I'm going to barely get away from the Twisted Fate. Yes, we will. Going to stay together, though, as Twisted Fate alts. So in case we needed to fight there, I would have just taunted him and let our carry do the damage, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, we didn't have to do that, though, so that's good. But covering some more of this build and some of the items that we're going to be going over, um, as this game continues, though, we can just watch some more fights happen. As for his runes, what I like to do when I am jungling him, or if you're going to play him in lane, he does work in lane all right. You can uh, take him bot lane as kind of a support tank, or you can go top lane with him. I have seen that. I don't see it as much anymore. Um, it does work all right, but I think, like I said, he does work best in the jungle for the most part. Um, but... As for his runes, I like to go with Magic Resist Marks. Those are going to help you out because typically you don't want to build as much uh, Magic Resist as you feel like you want to because you know how it works here. I'm going to taunt that Vi to me. She's going to basically be killing herself in Tremors and with that Thornmail and with my ability to just send back damage. So I'm going to keep letting her attack me. She's got a lot of damage. She's got a Black Cleaver and Infinity Edge and some other stuff. So i um, going to be getting in there and trying to get in her way because she hurts. I was able to kill that Voli Bear there. I think Cat is going to die to poison from Singe. Um, that was a 4v5 for the most part, though, so um, not too bad. I'm able to send back a lot of damage to some of the heavy hitters on their team. 
uh, that Vi did pick up a couple triple kills uh, in the middle of that game at one point, and uh, just kind of a pain for us, but nonetheless, uh, being able to send back that damage, uh, Ramus is really good at just kind of doing that and being, as I like to call it, annoying. So we're going to be going with that. Uh, but like I was saying with those runes, I do take then armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and then movement speed quintessences, which are just always great for ganking, especially once you have your power ball going, you're just really, really fast. And you're just able to get to them and close the gap a lot faster than uh, you would if you weren't. And also, as I've stated in Season 3, since the movement speed of champions has changed and base boots don't give you as much and everybody got a buff on their normal movement speed for the most part, uh, movement speed quints are almost as good as boots 1 on a lot of champions. So you basically just have boots 1 if you have those uh, quints. So it's kind of smart. Um, getting into a little bit of a fight here. Renek can pick up a kill on the buy early, and he's going to pick up a kill on the Volley Bear. He's building a lot of damage, which is good. He's still kind of tanky because it is Renekton, but nonetheless, he is picking up a lot of kills as I'm going out as our full tank. Uh, but uh, both teams are fairly tanky, so this is a pretty, pretty solid game going on right now. And then as for my mastery page, in the jungle, I go with a 125.4. If you're going to be taking a bot lane, just go with like a 129 to get super tanky. Um, to resist as much of that damage because like I said I try to put myself in the position to be tanking just about everything unless it's time to run away like this so um, that's that's just what's going on there you need to run at a certain point you can't stay forever but unless you will know you are gonna die if you know you're gonna die in any fight this has helped a few people I've talked to if you know you're gonna die in any fight and you wanna run don't run just stay and fight it you might be surprised with how many times you actually can get out of a fight and live so or you can set up the fight to a certain point where it'll actually get a kill for you. Now, obviously, if you're baiting the kill to someone else and you might die, that that's okay too, I suppose. But nonetheless, you can uh, you can always try to fight something if you're unsure, especially under a tower. Never fight though when your tower's about to go down. Make sure you do that right away, as the tower will need its health to help with you. Um, but we have that going on, guys. That's pretty much going to be the build. Now you can see I picked up a War Mogs. You can either do War Mogs or a Guardian Angel. Um, another item that's very popular on Ramus, which isn't bad. I just didn't build it this game. You don't really need to. If you want to go with some more damage, you can do a Sunfire Cape. Pick up more armor and health that way and get that area damage, which will add on top of your Tremors, which I'm currently doing because super low cooldown. I believe it'll be back up in 27 seconds, which... You could almost use it twice in one fight. So, I'm gonna taunt that uh, twist of fate, but nobody's over there. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're we just super tanky. We have tons of health. We have even better health regen with that spirit um, visage. And that uh, War Mogs, we, our health regen is 25 a second right now. So, we're healing up quick. Um, and we're just able to be super tank Ramus. So, uh, I made her flash. I'm gonna let her attack me and the tower. Don't really care. She is hurting herself attacking me. And, uh, you know, that's that's gonna happen. She's got a lot of damage. Holy cow, she has a lot of damage. But uh, that's pretty much gonna be this game. We're gonna be able to wrap it up very shortly. That's the full build. Like I said, though, if you wanted to go with the Guardian Angel, that's always a good idea. And uh, some Fire Cape's never bad. Uh, Randuin's Omen, Frozen Heart, all good choices. But this is the build I like to use, guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. But other than that, I'll just see all of you in the next build video.